Okay, here's a very quick update on the wetland filter, the Aquascape uh, constructed wetland style filter that I am building for my pond. It's a 9 by 11 by about 4 feet deep. Uh, and I'll just walk through a quick overview of the work that was done. All right, so here is the finished product, sort of. Uh, we've got our centipede snorkel. There will be, I believe, a three inch line coming into the bog, the wetland filter, dropping down and then coming into this pipe where it will shoot water out really fast. The centipede unit with all the slots in it will allow that water to diffuse up slowly. Uh, here's a picture from inside that centipede pipe that I took so that you can see kind of what the slots look like and how they're spaced. The way that I cut these slots, you can kind of tell from the photo a little bit, it's like rounded on the edges. So I just took a half inch spade bit, which is about as wide as one of the valleys, uh, you know, in this corrugated pipe was, and just drilled holes in every other valley all the way down the pipe at uh, 3 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and uh, 9 o'clock. And so you know, those four holes created the guides for where these slots would would go. And then I was able to fit, you know, uh, like a metal blade from a reciprocating, a reciprocating saw to, uh, to cut out the slots using those holes. And then this snorkel unit, in case I ever need to clean out uh, the wetland, which I probably will at some point, has, you know, suspended solids solids in the water uh, settle their way to the bottom or if I back flush if it gets clogged then I back flush it you drop a pump down this tube and as you can see I've cut a hole in this big this 18 inch piece of culvert to accept this 12 inch piece of culvert and if we look down inside ta-da there it is so the pump will go down there. This will all be full of water, and the pump will go down there. And if there's any junk down there, if things get clogged up, or if there's a bunch of silt or debris, um, you can throw a trash pump down there and pump it out. And now here's just a little something I'm playing with. I originally wasn't planning to use any uh, aqua blocks, any you know water matrix blocks at the bottom of my bog filter, my wetland filter, uh, just because they're so expensive. And I've seen a lot of people build really successful uh, filters without them. But then I found these um, plastic pallets on Facebook Marketplace from somebody in my neighborhood who was selling three of them for like seven bucks a piece. So for about 20 bucks, I picked these up and I don't know if this is going to work very well. The bottom of this filter is sloped to the center to drain, you know, to allow um, sediment and, and water to drain all, you know, from every point in the filter down into the snorkel so that it can be pumped out. So it's not a flat surface on the bottom. You can see that, they, uh, that these things don't sit flat. I also didn't dig a you know rectilinear or square filter because I wasn't planning to do this. If I had planned on this in the, in the beginning, I'd you know, have measured out what the layout of these things would have been, would have fit them in. I can still go back and do that if I needed to. Uh, I'd rather not at this point, but if this seems like a good idea, I could probably find some more, maybe stack them on top of each other. They're not the world's uh, most uh, structurally sound. They're they're probably strong enough, but they're they're no uh, they're no aqua blocks. They're not they're not nearly as strong as an aqua block, but they're probably strong enough. And that is the latest update on my constructed wetland filter. So thanks for coming to my TED talk.